Hey everyone, just a quick video today to show you how to lubricate the Rubik's clock, specifically the GE one. I find it really helps, especially when you're doing the last four corners and you're turning a lot of the dials together. So we'll quickly take it apart. So you can see here we've got the four corner pieces, which are the fat up pieces. And the ones that make up the cross are the thin ones with only one face on them. And obviously the four pins. So I'll try to show you quickly on the back. So where these actually fit, a lot of people think you need to lubricate where this black piece is, but if you can see closely, that little white plastic actually sticks up further than this. So that's the actual touching surface when the dial is in. So the piece we need to actually lubricate is this inner side where the larger part of the dial slots in between. Um, try not to get any lubrication on these cog pieces because if it gets on here, it's going to end up touching the pins and then those pins touch these corner ones and these corner ones are the actual ones that you turn. So if that happens, you're going to end up with lubrication on here and then your fingers. So I'll show you how I do it. And it's very simple. The lubrication I like to use is Galaxy. It's, I find the thinner stuff doesn't tend to do much and it doesn't really last as long. So I use Galaxy as it's a little bit thicker and it tends to work quite well. So all I do is literally, you can either get a cloth, put a piece on the cloth and then rub it on the inside. But I find that a little bit time consuming. So I literally just put a little drop on get the dial piece, slide it in, give it a few spins around, and you'll see there that a little bit does come out the front, but that's fine, because at the end we're gonna wipe down this front face anyway. So I'll lubricate all the faces on the inside, and then I'll come back and show you how to put it back together properly. So at this point here, you can see I've got all the dials in, and you'll notice that you can only see magnets on two of them and you want these diagonally opposite and the other two the magnets will actually be facing down. I'm just going to put this cloth down, put the face on so we know there might be a little bit of lube on the other side. I'll come back to that in a second. Okay so from here we've got one face with all the dials on and another face with only the four cross pieces. So I would personally put the pins in first on another side, the one with all of the um, dials in. Just make sure you get the color orientation the correct way around. So then, now all we need to do, these are magnetically put in, so if you gently turn it around, they should stay in. You want to make sure that the orientation of both sides, so this side's 12's facing up, so we've got no issues, and just gently place it back on, give it a little squeeze. So now, what I mentioned earlier, you might have a few dials with some lube sticking out, so just get a cloth, push the pins down, give it a rub over, and there should be no lube left on the outside of the surface. So if you do that on both sides, and then just give it a few turns with all the dials out, just to make sure that all the excess lube is come out before we put the case back on. And then just give it another quick clean. And that should be fine. Next we just put the plastic case back on. and the screws. When you put the screws in, you wanna make sure that you don't put it on too tight. If you do put it on too tight, and what can happen is you can kind of over tension the areas around the outside, and you can make it harder to turn. So you just wanna unsecurely, but not over tight. And that's it, that's how to lube a Chi Yi clock.